Hello everyone and welcome to an incredible game that just finished from the uh, FIDE World Cup 2023. Peter Sviller versus Jordan Van Forest. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful uh, a miniature. Uh, you guys will really enjoy this one. Uh, ended abruptly. Uh, not a lot of time spent on the clock. Well, one of the players did, but the, the winning side obviously didn't. And uh, before we check out the game, I would just like to quickly remind everyone that today we will have a live stream. We will have a tournament on Leeches. It is a fundraising event, not a fun, a fund raising event, uh, where we will uh, be raising funds uh, for the distribution of chess sets uh, across Africa, across African countries. And they are doing incredibly well. It is the Gift of Chess Foundation. We've had um, a live stream with them a couple of months ago, if you guys remember. Uh, they already uh, have uh, some nine countries, I believe, covered, uh, and they already have 50,000 chess sets ready to be deployed. They are um, uh, stationed in warehouses in Kenya and Ghana. Uh, but it, uh, it costs uh, around $5,000 to get um, 1,000 chess sets to, uh, to, to a certain uh, African country. And uh, that, that includes shipping, that includes pretty much everything. So it's $5,000 for that uh, 1,000 chess sets to be distributed to one country in Africa. And uh, with this stream, we are hoping to uh, raise $10,000 and this would cover two countries. So uh, if you guys can join the stream, uh, join the tournament on Leeches, and by all means, if you are uh, able to, uh, to jo join this goal, also do do help out. Um, it's, uh, it, it's definitely for a great cause. Uh, I will put a link to the Leeches tournament in the description below, and also below that, I will put a link to this fundraiser where you can read a lot more if you are interested on the topic. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so far, uh, the, uh, some of the countries that they uh, have already reached with those 1,000 uh, chess sets are Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, uh, Seychelles, Somalia, Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe, South Sudan, and um, uh, Tanzania. And of course, with your help, they are trying to reach the entire Africa. Uh, we're going to have a lot of guests. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. You guys will hear about what they've been doing uh, since the last time they were on the stream. So it's going to be it's going to be great to do, uh, join us if you can. It will start 7 p.m. Central European time, last for about two hours. The Leeches tournament will be an hour and a half, and then maybe the entire thing two hours. So hope you guys can make it. That being said, let's check out this brilliancy. As uh, <laughs> it's so short, I, I fear uh, my intro will be longer than the actual game. But let's check it out. Uh, Svidler has the white pieces and he opens with e4. We have pawn to c5 by Jordan, knight to f3, we have d6 and now pawn to d4. So a standard Sicilian defense, we have captors, captors, knight to f6, we have knight to c3 and pawn to a6. Now the knight uh, is on the board, bishop to g5 uh, and now pawn to e6. And here there are many possible continuations, f4 being the most popular one, you have queen to e2, you have queen to f3, you have queen to d3, you have bishop to e2, you have bishop to c4. So any move is a move in this position, and Svidler uh, plays queen to e2. It's a, not, not an extremely rare one, but a fairly rare one. It's it's interesting that this is move 7, uh, and Svidler plays the 7th most popular uh, choice in this position. Uh, but okay, it definitely has been played before. We have bishop to e7, and now pawn to h4. So queen to e2 combined with pawn to h4. If you guys face the Sicilian a lot, you should definitely try this. Pawn to h6, bishop goes back to d2. Uh, and queen to b6 now, putting pressure on the b2 uh, pawn. Also, the knight on d4 is hanging. We have knight to b3. And now there are some games where queen back to c7 were played. Knight b to d7 is a known move. But here we have pawn to h5 by Jordan. And it is now as of move 10 that we have a completely new game. So, okay, Sviller castles. We have castles and now queen to c7. You have to play this move, even though it does seem like loss of a tempo. Uh, but you have to play b5. You have to move the knight. You have to move the bishop. You have to put the rook on c8. You have to play a b5, b4. So the queen definitely has to move. Uh, we have rook to h3. Now uh, Peter wants to put the rook on g3 to put pressure on the g7 pawn. We have knight b to d7, rook to g3, and just pawn to g6. Uh, Jordan happy with his king in the center of the board. We have bishop to g5, and now pawn to b5. Now, of course, uh, Jordan will start his attack on the queen side. We have a3, and now bishop to b7. Now putting some pressure on the e4 pawn. Queen back to e1, freeing up the light square bishop. We have rook to c8, now putting pressure on that c2 point. You have to be careful. If the knight moves, you're going to get checkmated. And the bishop to d3. Since the queen made room for the bishop, we have knight to c5. And now just king to b1, a move you will pretty much always see when um, a white castle's queen side in, uh, against the Sicilian defense. We have castles, uh, and now knight captures on c5. And this is where the fun starts. 
uh, the safest move here is queen captures on c5, but uh, uh, Jordan uh, is not uh, going for safe today, he's going for an attack, he plays d captures on c5, now he also has b4 coming, but the problem is Peter moves first, he plays pawn to e5, and now, again, knight to g4 is what you should play, knight g4, then let's say captures, captures, and then you go f3, you kick away the knight, knight comes to h6, it's a bit of a weird square, but then maybe you can go to f5 later on and you're going to have a, a, a defendable position. But here, knight to d5 was played, and now look at what Peter plays. Knight captures on d5, bishop captures on d5, and believe it or not, black is already lost here. Uh, it's very hard to actually make a pause the video moment in this game because uh, so many moves are important, but uh, Peter's next move is what is crucial about his attack. And if you guys can spot this one, you're not just an excellent attacker, you are also uh, a complete chess player. Uh, so feel free to pause the video and try to find the absolute best move for white while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting this unstoppable move. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is queen to e3. This is the move and now black is without any moves. To give you, uh, to give you an example, what can black play? Let's play bishop captures on g5. Okay, queen captures, and how are you stopping this? Bishop captures on g6 is ne next, queen captures on h5 is next. There's really no move you can make uh, to stop this from happening. So, okay, we're, we're going to avoid that. Let's try something else. Let's play king to h7. Let's add another defender to the g6 pawn. Not a problem. Bishop captures, queen captures, and now rook g5. Threatening rook captures on h5 as the g pawn is pinned. And now if king to g7, now you'll play g4. And if h captures, now you play h5, and again, you are breaking through on that g6 pawn. So, uh, uh, Jordan tries something else. He plays pawn to c4, but now Svidler starts not by playing bishop captures on e7. Uh, now he starts with bishop captures on g6, and it's pretty much the same idea. Uh, there's just no way out of this. f captures on g6, other moves don't really help. Bishop captures on e7, queen captures, and rook captures on g6 with check. And now, what do you do? Uh, you, there are a couple moves you could play. Let's say you play king to f7. This runs into queen h6. Now threatening rook g7 check to pick up the, the black queen. And if you move the king, it doesn't really help. Now you just play rook captures on d5, remove the defender of the e6 pawn. And after pawn captures, rook to e6 again wins the queen. Yes, you do have two rooks, but white is much, much better. The passed e pawn is already far too strong. For example, d4, you can just uh, trade captures, captures, uh, not trade, uh, capture the queen. And after the king moves, you will pick up the d4 pawn. So there's no counterplay here for black. So instead, king to h8 was played, but now Peter just plays uh, rook to h6 with check. There was another way to go about this. You could also play rook captures on d5, uh, but it's it's just incredible how many moves are winning here for, for pawn captures. Now queen to h6 with check, queen to h7, and now look at this, queen to g5, threatening rook to h6 to win the black queen. And if rook to g8, then you have queen to f6 check, rook blocks, and now rook to h6, again, winning the black queen. So uh, obviously, uh, that did not happen. Rook to h6 was played, like I mentioned. We have king to g7. And here, uh, you could, again, uh, try some uh, some other moves. But rook captures on h5 was played. Uh, and he was in this position on move 27 that Jordan Van Forest resigned the game. Uh, as there is really nothing more to be done here. Uh, to give you an example, let's say you try running away with a king. King to f7. Rook h7 check picks up the queen. Okay, we can play that. Can we play king to g8? Does this help us at all? Rook captures on d5. It seems like, okay, maybe you don't even have to play this, but the bishop here is so strong and, you know, it, it definitely... Uh, is harder for white to play uh, than when you play rook captures on d5. So after he captures the queen to g3 with check, king to f7, and again rook to h7 check will pick up the black queen, and again you have all the uh, all the same uh, tricks. Uh, and of course, uh, one move that we still haven't tried is rook to h8. How about you stop rook to h7 or any such ideas altogether? Uh, not gonna work. Uh, queen to g3 check, king f7, and now queen to f4 with check. King to g7, now you play rook to g5 with check. King to h7, and now finally rook captures on d5, and that's it. Pawn captures, now queen to f5 with check. King to h6, and of course queen to g6 will be checkmate. So really uh, just uh, very, very hard to figure out what went wrong, but I think that people will start playing this a lot more, and by uh, this I mean this line with queen to e2 followed by pawn to h4, uh, because if you play against uh, the knight of, chances are you uh, get this position a lot, and this bishop g5, queen to e2, h4, uh, just seems like 
Uh, well, it just seems very fresh. We, we've seen a lot of attempts uh, going at the Nidor, but this one uh, we have not seen, at least on this channel. I believe we haven't. And uh, uh, where did Jordan go go wrong? It, again, very, very hard to say. Probably it all started here after he played knight to c5. Now just uh, he, he wanted to go aggressive with d captures and c5. Probably queen captures was safer. Uh, and then again, that knight to g4. So th those were the two moves where he could have played a little bit better, but he didn't. And Peter just uh, took advantage of that. So there you have it. Once again, uh, you, you see just how strong Peter Swiller is. He's, uh, you know, still defending the honor of the old guard where, you know, uh, uh, players learn to play <laughs> without the use of engines. And you, you make one, uh, one positional mistake and he will absolutely destroy you. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Big, big congratulations to Peter on uh, such a such a brilliancy against the Nidor. Like I said, I'm pretty sure Queenie Two uh, uh, H4 line will will become uh, very popular online. Uh, I would like to thank Schlercher, Paul Harris, Samuel Kane, Erin is the best wife, and No Laura is the best wife for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions uh, and whatever else happens in the chess world. Thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day. Do join us later uh, on the Lee Chess event um, uh, and also try to support the Gift of Chess Foundation if you can. Thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.